Welcome to From the Pastor's Kitchen, where I get to share with you two of my greatest passions by love for Christ and cooking. Hey, today I'm doing some Miami styled uh, black beans, uh, refried black beans, I'm gonna call them that. My way, my style. I went, I had a trip that I went and stopped by Miami. My God, and the black beans were absolutely phenomenal. I just tasted and savored the flavors in the beans, and I'm going to recreate that today for you. Hey, let's go and look at the ingredients that I have already, and then we can move forward. I've got four 29-ounce cans of black beans because I'm cooking for about 15 people, and um, I poured them out of the can already, pouring the liquid off of them, and I'm going to rinse them off, put them in a pot, and then we're going to take them to a whole new level. Come on and go on this journey with me. Black beans. We've already rinsed them off. We've done that already. We have four 29 ounce cans because I'm cooking for quite a few people. I have water in here almost to the top of the black beans already. I'm going to top it off now with water. Why? Because I'm going to slow cook them. I have them in the cans too, so they don't, they don't need to cook long. Normally I would add some chicken stock or something to it, but I don't have any. This bouillon. Ooh, chicken base is everything. I want you all to know that. I mean, it really enhances the meal and everything. So we're going to start out right quick with a tablespoon of this. Then we're going to add in our seasonings to this as we go along. We're going to put these onions down in here. We're going to put half of them in there. Let them cook and marinate within there. We're going to put all of the garlic down inside of here. Okay. Hey, people, let's go over to the stove. I just turned on. Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's stir this up. We're going to let this cook and simmer. Yeah, put the onions in there. I did uh, one whole onion and put it in here. Yeah, with the garlic down inside of here as well. We put, may put a little bit more water on it because we want to top it off. And we definitely want to have some broth in it. This is my recipe, y'all, so let's make it work. Adobo, you know, that's my go-to because I don't use any salt, so, but it has salt content in it. Let's hit it with a little bit of paprika. Some cumin. I love cumin. This is going to bring out all of the flavor for these beans. Yeah, about a tablespoon of cumin in here. And chili powder, about the same. Chili powder is coming out rather well. And then we're going to hit it with some black pepper. That should do it, y'all. We're going to let them slow cook. There we go. Let these things slow cook in here and all these flavors marinate in these beans and then i'm going to show you what we're going to do with them after that because we're going to take them to a whole new level we'll be right back going to let them cook for about 30 minutes and then i'll be able to share the remainder of how i'm going to bring this recipe together Hey, P-Fam, while I'm waiting for the beans to simmer, just to cook just a little bit so that my broth would be thick, because that's what you want. You don't want a real thin broth on, on these beans at all. Um, I want to give a verse of scripture. The Lord is my shepherd. When you think of a shepherd, and I think of the shepherd in the olden days, the shepherd managed and maintained the sheep. Look at us as, as, as the children of God, the bride we are like sheep. We are fragile. Many times we are lost. There's a void in our lives. Sheep get lost quickly. My God, they're fragile as well too. That's just how we are. And so I want you today to declare that the Lord is your shepherd. And the other part of that verse says, and I shall not want. The shepherd provided the, the feeding, cut the coat on the sheep, would guide them along the way 
so that they would not get lost. If one got lost, went to see about them and to get them because that one was as valuable as the other 99. So I want you to know when you are in the Lord and you accept him as Lord and Savior and as your shepherd, if you're lost, you can be found today. Declare the name of the Lord. His name is Jesus. Accept him as your shepherd and Lord over your life. You got time now. Don't wait until it's too late. Hey, P-Fam, I'm back. The beans are cooked. However, I'm going to show you how we make them refried beans. You don't really fry the beans at all. I'm going to mesh up. I've got a, quite a bit of the beans in a bowl, and I'm going to mesh them down, and it's going to provide a thickness for them, too, as well. And then I'm going to add in some more onions and some cilantro in there. My God, it takes it to a whole new elevation. All right, watch me as I just mesh the beans up. Put them back in there, add about a tablespoon of cornstarch with it to thicken up my broth. Hear my beans? Meshing them. This is for any beans that you're doing, really. Oh, I smell the flavor of the cumin and everything in these beans is just so wonderful. Great seasonings really enhance your food. See the beans meshed up in there? Take them and put them on the side of the bowl and just mesh them in there. This is going to provide a, a thickness for you. I'm going to add some broth to this. some broth in there with that. There we go. And a teaspoon of cornstarch. A tablespoon, so I'm just going to put half of it in there. Cornstarch. There we go. Mix that in with that. I'm going to add this back in my pot. Let's go. And I'm going to put this on a low simmer just to get it thick. I don't want it to really cook anymore. Just to get the broth in here thick. That's what we're doing. Real low. And just as it reaches its thickness, I'm gonna add the final uh, little bit of onions and top it off with some cilantro in here. There we go. Hey, P-Fam, this is the last. I'm gonna put in some additional onions and the fire is turned off and this will simmer and the broth will get thick. We are done with these beans. They are for a, a dinner party, definitely, so I'm not gonna do anything else with them. Lastly, I'm gonna add to this a little bit of cilantro. Y'all better know it. Yeah, 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 yeah. These black beans gonna have some cilantro in there. About a handful of cilantro. There we go. Put them down in these black beans. Take your black beans to a, on a journey. My God. And so when someone eats them, they're on that same exploration with you. Yeah, just put the rest of this in there. And let's be done. No need to continue cooking this. It will get thick. And then I'm gonna heat it up a little later for the dinner party as well. Uh, these are the black beans, look at them, y'all. Look at them. Just wanted you to look at them. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. I'm gonna provide you with all the details for the recipe. And until next week, like, share, subscribe.